Hey guys, Josh here with Carl's Mower and Saw. And today, let's go over the basics, the things you need to know to keep this in tip top shape, to keep this thing running its best so that you can keep your hedge trimmed, clean, looking good all the time. Let's get into the, the meat and potatoes of sorts of this machine. What we need to know to keep this thing running good and well. We know how to take care of ourselves, but okay, let's start out with fuel, fuel, fuel. We talk about this all the time. Steel Ultra, HP Ultra mix with one gallon of ethanol free fuel. But did you know that steel actually says like 30 days and you should be getting rid of your gas? 30 days, that's nothing, right? Like a month worth of gas. If you're a homeowner, that's pretty hard to follow. If you're a commercial guy, I get it. Every couple days you're filling up your tank, that's great, or every day. But if you cannot go through your fuel in 30 days, you might want to consider Moto Mix. And that is a great product, fuel, to run in a head trimmer. For most homeowners, a head trimmer is something we don't get out but two or three times a year. Commercially, yeah, you're running it a lot more of the time, which is awesome. But think Moto Mix if you're an occasional user. So we're going to take, traditionally, pop this tank, pop the cap like this, and fill it with fuel. I should do it. Let's just fire it up. Fresh can of Moto Mix. See if my pour is on this morning. Usually I would grab my Moto Mix funnel because I hate to spill this stuff. All right, there's enough to get it going. Cap on. You guys are familiar, hopefully, with the steel twist uh, pop up and twist caps. These only go in in one position. I might as well point that out real quick. There's a little tab right there that lines up. That's where it drops in. If you try to drop it in anywhere else, it will not. So once it drops in, quick quarter turn, clip, done, good to go. Primer is going to be right here in the front. I'm going to give this thing five pumps. No more are needed. Sometimes less can be a few too a few too few, that doesn't make sense. Always go with five pumps. That gets the fuel from the fuel tank to the carburetor. And my choke is right here. That's this orange piece. I'm going to push in the black outer rim and twist. The choke is now locked. When I click the trigger, the choke does come off. So I'm going to choke it. It is always on run. It's a, a momentary kill switch. And then I'm going to pull the rope. Oh, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a weird thing to start. So if it was on the ground, I'd maybe put my knee on it. We'll go right here. One, two. A really good idea to let this thing warm up for a minute before we go to use on it. And always before I start cutting with this, I'm gonna grab my steel resin remover. That's right here, this nice spray can. And I'm gonna spray it down the top of the blade as well as the bottom. And on the bottom, I'm gonna focus on these open slots. This is going to provide the lubrication we need as well as there's a solvent in here which keeps the pitch from building up, gumming up your blades, causing your blades to split. And when these blades get separated, they do not cut cleanly. This thing is shuffling at 5,000 feet per minute designed to cut clean, crisp, leafy green material. We can have it as sharp as can be. Honestly, razor sharp. I cut my fingers with it. But if the blades are not touching, they're not going to cut anything. So using something like this steel resin remover prevents that from happening, prevents that pitch buildup. So always lube it down before you start. And then I would say every tank of gas, if you're using it for hours at a time, and depending on the material that you're cutting, you may need to do it a little more often. On the bottom end right here is a little screw plug. I'm going to put my T27 Torx in here. Loosen this, this cap is gonna come out. You can see there's some grease on it right now. This tube of grease should be inserted in here every 25 to 30 hours. That's a lot. How do I remember how many hours? For most homeowners, I'm gonna say once a year. For most commercial guys, I'm gonna say once every month or two, okay? And this would probably last, this is 40 grams. And I want to say you use like four to five grams every grease time. So this is going to last you 10 greasings of this machine. 
A telltale sign though is if you don't see any grease on the tip of that plug when you open it up, you're not getting enough grease in there. You never want to fill this cavity all the way because it will just force it out of the front. Another thing to point out on this hedge trimmer is this beautiful exhaust system they have. They've got this exhaust pipe coming out and shooting forward away from the operator, right? Awesome, keeps the exhaust, the smoke out of your face, keeps it a lot more comfortable to run, but because of that, it's actually slowing down the exit of the, the smoke, the exhaust, and can plug up the screen easier. So it is very important to run this at a higher RPM um, all the time versus some of the other machines. We've talked about plugged spark arresters before. This one seems to almost be a little bit more susceptible to it. If this spark arrestor does get plugged, there's a little rubber boot right here. Let's just do it. That I can, whoop, stuff flying all over. So this rubber boot right here comes loose and there's my exhaust screen right there. And this wonderful tool that came with the steel will loosen that exhaust screen, pull it out and either burn it off with a propane torch or replace it. Air filter is going to be hiding here under the side. Again, this T27 torch, this tool that came with it is fantastic for getting in here. This will stay fairly clean, but it is amazing when you're cutting small boxwood like leaves that those things, you know, they do float for a little bit and you can end up with some some debris building up on your foam air filter. This is a washable air filter. It's going to take a while to dry. It's really dense or replace it. So when things start looking nasty underneath, let's think about throwing a new filter in. So run good gas, lubricate the blades, lubricate the gearbox, keep my air filter clean, run it hard so we don't plug up the exhaust, and you will have many, many, many years of wonderful service out of your steel HS87T hedge trimmer. For more information on the full line of steel products, stop by Carl's Mower and Saw. We're your outdoor power equipment experts here to help you get the most out of your backyard equipment.